Meanwhile, the U.S. has said that the World Court should not order the withdrawal of Israeli forces from Palestinian territories. And the International Court of Justice is mulling a 2022 request to issue a non-binding opinion on the legal consequences of the Israeli occupation. Take a listen. A few days ago at the Munich Security Conference, Secretary Blinken emphasized that it is more urgent than ever to proceed to a Palestinian state, one that also ensures the security of Israel and makes the necessary commitments to do so. In light of these considerations, the court should not find that Israel is legally obligated to immediately and unconditionally withdraw from occupied territory. Well, at the hearing, Russia called for Israel to end its occupation of the Palestinian territories. And that too, amid dwindling ties with Washington, Moscow said that Israel must stop all settlement activities and abide by UNSC resolutions aimed at achieving a two-state solution. Israel is not taking part in the hearing, saying that the court's involvement could hinder a negotiated settlement. Now, amid growing concerns for efforts to reach a two-state solution, Israel's parliament has voted to back Prime Minister Netanyahu's declaration opposing the unilateral creation of Palestinian state. Israel also says that any permanent accord with Palestinians would be reached through direct negotiations between the two sides and not by any international dictates. Meanwhile, the international community, including the United Nations, has been accused of failing to stop mounting wars and conflicts that are killing innocent people all across the world. And this as it hosts foreign ministers from the G20 nations. Brazil has slammed the Security Council for its unacceptable paralysis in relation to the ongoing conflicts. This comes after Brazilian President Lula da Silva compared Israel's war on Gaza to Hitler's treatment of Jews. The comments led to an ongoing diplomatic spat between Brazil and Israel. And at the G20 meeting, Blinken has clearly asserted that the U.S. does not agree with the Brazilian leader's remarks.